Bonsoir to the monde. Welcome back to Tom Plays, Europe Universalis 4 for absolute beginners. We are back with France and hopefully going to make war on Spain. So we've got two goals in this war. We need to put down the Great British Revolution so we can stop hemorrhaging prestige. Oh, hang on. <laughs> on that leader down there. Might make more leaders, but let's just see what we can do with what we have for now. And we also want to take as much land as we can from Spain, basically. We do have the imperialism option. So up here we've only actually got a claim on Valencia. But then we do have claims elsewhere. Ooh, of course. Right. So I uh, just reached majority. Terra Australis started a war just before we did, as usual. And we've got some French pretender rebels who have all risen in the same place to make our lives as difficult as possible. Well, thankfully they're splitting up. Okay, so we need to deal with this now. Not a huge deal, to be fair. I think we do have claims around the world, so we might still be making war. Be worth making war even with relatively few claims we currently have. Because we do still want to take colonies. They don't have any down here anymore, do they? It's purely in North America. I would especially like to get some for French Louisiana, which appears to currently be one province. Why French? Mexico as... Oh no, I see. French Louisiana is over here as well. No, fair enough. Maybe that's not an option then. Seriously? <laughs> okay, she plus three. She is not plus three. So, I will just take the admin power. We really want to stick to us free. I don't think we need to worry about money right now. Okay, all pretender rebels are dealt with. At least in that bunch. What's this? Abolition of slavery? I cannot say yes fast enough. And we do in fact have a diet. Northern England. Let's see if that's an option. Give us more claims on... What's that going to be? York, Cumbria, what have you. Might go with that. Seeing as we're planning on making war with them anyway. Okay, let's trade goods have changed because we've abolished slavery. Which is good. Spike network in Spain still going down. I think we should just go for it. So the one thing I did want to check is Australia. Especially seeing as Terra Austral has started their own war again. I mean, yes, of course. Great, Spain likes us. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy. I'm not unhappy with our colonies are making war themselves. I mean, it's a good thing. I'm just uh, always seems to be ill-timed with Terra Austral. But if we can get our own troops over there, madly annoying that we've still got places in a mess because of the particulars, but 
What can you do? Right, you have the conquistador. And right, so we actually have a very weak navy. Worth bearing in mind. But if we don't worry too much about the particulars for now, we could get our entire army down there. And then we can effectively fight Terostrel's battles for them. To some extent. Well, the Spanish part of the battle. Okay, cool. That should be fine. We have a free dip. Good. How close are we to going up in military tech? Pretty close. So it wouldn't be a bad thing if we achieved that first, I suppose. Building ships. I suppose if we delay long enough, we... Uh, might be worth starting up the spy network again. But, uh, let's see. I'm guessing. Are you right? Yeah, no big problem. I haven't really even thought about making conquests in Siberia yet, apart from the very minor ones. Really not happy about not doing them in particular. Oh! I'll move we dealt with them last time. This is something where vassals come in useful, you see. They sometimes mop up things like this for you. Question is do we want. Oh, well, we did want these people as vassals, didn't we? Now oh, let's give it a try. If nothing else, they might be useful as allies. Uh, sale of titles, don't really want to upset the nobility right now, plus their loyalty is lower, so we'll go with the nobility on that one. More French particularists. Uh, more insane numbers of French particularists. Okay, so that will put the war plans on hold. May as well start building the spy network again. At least once we get some diplomats back. <laughs> really slightly puzzled as to the sheer numbers of particularists arising in France. Is this because historically we had a revolution? I mean, that really is a lot. Actually, let's just leave it for a sec. Did we get these boats moving? I'm just assuming we're going to win that one. A little less confident about the Paris one. Oh yes, we can all take land if we're allowed to rise off a huge army wherever we want. Let's get you down there, yes. That's great. Ah. Excellent. new troops which we must not apply because an army is currently heading for battle. Probably went the wrong way around the world there. there yeah I think if we're sensible we will uh, wait until the particular foot down so there's Milan as well. Oh there's two in Milan. Great. tempted to just sit in the castles and wait now. <laughs> if 
feel like we could use all the advantages we can get with these guys. It's a total happy about what this is likely doing to our manpower, but... was a lower loyalty the bourgeoisie probably wouldn't have helped with that but is that gonna go through I don't think that's gonna go through so this is presumably the castle they would go for next let's get some of this over with we have a new trader is that Teros Thrall did they succeed in their aims? Actually, we're not actually heading directly for battle now, so let's... Square or Impulse? That's Austria. Oh, they're both Austria. Okay, I will go with Square. Anything else? Oh yeah, we've got these. Heavy Cavalry. Aha! Napoleonic army. Let's go with them. And apparently we've had a battle, which was not my intention. Okay. guys to attach to us if they want to so yeah we probably had a battle there with lower morale than we should have had which is unfortunate so I was before that happened just gonna check whether Terra Australia had finished their war I think they have I think they've actually finally conquered that nation and that's got them to 10 provinces so we have a new trader which is good might be one of the last ones we get Lima seems reasonable okay new forward trade from Lima now we have another one now we have separatists which we can't do anything about this is where our boats are being built so we're going to have to send these down to pick up some of our troops that in theory we can actually go ahead with that it's not ideal but we need to put the separatists down okay we'll back not what I was expecting but I am game traditionally quite a an important trade node at the start for Europe and Lubeck they're over here some of the earliest ones that involve ships and as we get more of a presence in the English Channel it's more worthwhile that we're now forwarding trade towards it <laughs> I think some of the DLCs let you actually change your home trade node to this one which would be more valuable but um, we're doing fine anyway. Champagne, are we? Surprised actually that our trade power isn't higher than it is. There's bits of a Holy Roman Empire, see? It'd be worth nibbling away at it if it wasn't for the Commonwealth. <laughs> As it is, we will have to be very careful. personal union of the Commonwealth. That is terrifying. <laughs> They've been very lucky. Right. Never mind. Where were we? Apart from seriously questioning our life choices. Okay, well I should head down to that castle and you should head across to this one. Maybe 
one of these years we can actually start the war with Spain. In fact, seeing as it's taking so long, let's actually start the spy network again. Still want to work on vassalizing those people. Oh, what's happened here? Nothing sensible. It looks like I wasn't paying attention to the route. And we've just made war even by accident. Never mind, royal marriage offer from Sardinia. Happy to accept all that. Okay. So you are. Yeah, you're supposed to be in Great Britain. Which is fine. We actually have castles, so we don't particularly need our army to stay there. So if you make your way to Aragon. So now we've put down the particularists, severely depleted our man pool. Of course, legitimacy is bad. Prestige is, of course, dropping. One would hope this would affect many of our rivals as well, of course. But nonetheless, we need to deal with it because no one else is going to, I don't think. Oh right, brilliant, we've got a castle. Okay, cool. I think our boats were heading there though. One of the fun things about Siberia is it takes forever to get anywhere. So we should be fine actually, so let's just move across. Put this navy together. So we're obviously trying to sort the navy out last time. Yeah, that's a little faster than I expected. good thing now because we need to get this over with. So you can get back down to Australia and war. Tariffs on naval supplies, Canada. I find it hard to believe that we haven't already taxed Canada. 14%, we have not, okay, let's tax it. Is there only a three more that we haven't at some point taxed? Okay. Right, seeing as this is taking forever anyway, I'm gonna actually send you down here to try and sort out some of these particularists. with that. Colonial Assembly. Grief. <laughs> Not to really mean or anything, but French Louisiana is so small. Okay, <laughs> so... Spanish independence, no way of knowing where that will arise. Might even arise in Aragon and get put down instantly, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. However, we are getting our diplomat back from Provence, so we can make some steps towards vassalization. So we your guarantee. Usual deal, we just need to get this to 190. They've already got military access, okay. So we should probably start subsidizing. Not sure we can spare the money. <laughs> but uh, enjoy these colonial nations. Oh yeah, the envoys are gonna take forever, aren't they?
I should probably crunch the numbers really before doing this, but seeing as we're using the lights anyway, so we want this at 150. Hang on. No, we don't want more duration, we want more money. Okay, getting another diplomat back, that will actually really help. Has our boat arrived yet? <laughs> Fleet. It has. Great. Okay, so. Let's split you up. And in the meantime, go and get one lonely person. Because we do have another one somewhere. We do. There. So you can be dealing with that one, while well, the rest of the army deals with everything else. Cygnus of the King. More power to the nobility or more to the provinces. I'd rather do more to the nobility right now. Don't think we'll notice the tax, whereas you are telling me it could actually make a difference for a trading nation. Good. And a couple more of those. start to feel that as we get towards the end of the game we're going to spend more time just holding on to what we've gained rather than getting new stuff. Nonetheless, nearly reached the point where we can finally invade, at which point we'll probably find out Spain has made an alliance with the Commonwealth. Not that I'm pessimistic or anything. While we're at it, let's get an avalanche for this fleet as well. It's a decent size fleet. They deserve their own admiral. Spanish separatists in Aragon. Nice place to rise up, guys. Very poor choice. I think it must be the local capital. Well, not surprisingly, given the name. Uh, hmm. oh, Aragon will give us more religious unity, though, won't it? And to be fair, we do tend to have troops there a lot of the time. Looks like there's some kind of unrest in Spain, which is brilliant. That will certainly help. Okay, let us all hop on board this boat, pick up the last contingent. Also, actually, shouldn't we all have come off then? Ah, <sighs> fine. Somehow we didn't all get aboard the boat. Not a problem. Right, so you're going to head down there. Join with the rest of the fleet. Which will hopefully be reasonably formidable now. So we've got a three star general in Australia. We shouldn't need anyone in the Americas anymore. No general down here. I think we're going to need a fifth anyway. Let's make a fifth. Seeking fortune. Oh, brilliant. So, actually, taking Spanish Natal isn't that impressive compared with, say, taking this area. Actually, there's quite a lot of armies there. We might have a job fighting them off. So we might have to just leave them to do what they want. Which is fine. You need to move over to Great Britain. Just 
do we have a general in India for the inevitable risings? We do. Okay, so that's our five generals accounted for. This is worrying me. But at the same time, the African army isn't going to be able to fight on the kind of troops I was seeing there anyway. So, I might just leave it be. Mostly thinking we'll probably look at it once the war is over. And we should have room for another claim in Spain. I'm actually wondering if I'd like to take that area there. Revolution Great Britain will still join in. We can get Maynilla to join in with no one else, that's fine. I'm going to do Imperialism because I think that will allow us to take stuff but get less cost and aggressive expansion. I'm going to go straight in for the kill there. Few decades here, don't we? Let's start using our navies as well. Then, not going to worry about the Americas, I think they can manage by themselves. Want to bring our fleet together. Is going to go I don't know, from there, I suppose. Make their lives difficult, and I think that isn't it. Although Great Britain may not immediately have joined in, so we might need to start the clock. <laughs> oh no, they have. Okay, so Great Britain, I don't think, is going to be in much of a position to fight us. So, tempted to just go for the capital. We'll see. Oh, and also send the Navy out again. Want the Navy to be involved. So, we probably want to run the clock fairly slowly for this because we're going to have to go to different parts of the world. Reaction, brilliant. So, our prestige is going up because we are making war on the revolution. Probably just going to be flitting around from place to place. See, I was thinking Great Britain, they've only really got the one castle. Plus we can put down the revolution if we take it, so I thought we'd just go straight for that. Save us having to think too hard about what we're doing. We do want to go for Valencia, of course. We can call the Ottomans in. I mean, it's appreciated, but I would rather not do it unless we really need to. Because... 
we may want to fight the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so let's just keep moving every time we take a province. Send you to actually do war. Tell only a couple to take down here. Taken Lancashire already. We've gained a ton of prestige. And we go straight in for the main British army. Scotland didn't join in, did they? It's a bit disappointing. On the plus side, we don't have to worry about giving them any land. So the noble should have given us a claim on North, Northern England. So, <laughs> by my reckoning, you know, as a British person, that, that would be Cumbria, York, Lancashire and Chester. But what it is in terms of a game, I do not know. I suspect we will find out. Okay, France has taken that one. That's good. Get Madrid next, and then we're going for Toledo. Assuming Madrid will be a pretty valuable province, all things considered. And might head over to Valencia because would like to have the land we're actually trying to take. Okay. Yeah, I figured that would be where this was happening. That's fine. I appreciate that they will stomp all over our land. I'm to move you there. And I might move you back to the castle. Okay. Uh, truce has ended. That's fine. Is there anywhere that we can make a new colony? There. Great. Send you there then. Yeah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Well, for now, I'm going to focus on taking lands anyway. Got Madrid, that's fine. So let's go in for Toledo. Uh, they've taken Benguela, that's fine. Going down towards the fort. Oh yeah, a right, new colony at the core. Which is good. Probably are going to have to put down the British peasant. Maybe we can fight him on the castle or something. That would be nice. Probably some Spanish islands knocking around. So it's too much to hope that Terra Austral would actually attempt to take some of them. It's also fine. Might be worth improving relations with French Louisiana. If we can get there in time. Okay. Cumbria, take York, possibly take down those peasants because there aren't too many of them. Jerusalem Brazil is over, might mean our colonies start attacking again, which would be great. No longer worried about whether they can do it or not. And we've lost a general, so we need to replace whoever that was. Okay, straight in for the capital of Tierra Austral. Not to be confused with Terra Austral. <laughs> Is that Australian land, Australian earth? In both cases. Presumably that's, I suppose, Southern land? Austral means Southern. Eh, 
Resnick. These peasants aren't budging. Oh, hang on. You're the ones who've lost the general. Excellent. Ah, the new one. And now you can go and deal with them. And then I guess we'll take Wales and then head back up north to deal with the remaining peasants. Hope to get a nice big war score here. So one thing we need to take all the land our nobles want, so we fulfil our... I want to say quest. It's not quest really, is it? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mostly just waiting to get notifications that we've taken land. I suppose we've got a couple of castles now. We've got an African army doing nothing. So it's really just the British army that's doing anything. So we should probably speed up a little. At least until the castles fall. Cool. Let's start ploughing into the British army. I see the presents. peasants are now encroaching on our land. The land we've taken. So yeah, certainly going to be a nuisance. Colony has grown, okay. Well, we have a few places we can send colonists. So let's just go there. And we will call land. And we will now have Shrewsbury. I guess I must have got rid of a castle in Montgomery. You usually start with one. Yes. In some ways I would rather take all the Welsh lands before heading back north to deal with the peasants because then we can just keep heading north and not worry about these lands anymore. It doesn't look like we need to worry about Great Britain at all. Don't seem to be able to field a new army. I suppose it has a double advantage though, but if for some reason they did manage to build an army, like in Ireland, they'd have to get through the peasants to get to us. Which is also a plus. Scotland not looking particularly healthy there. Or it doesn't help, but the capital looks like it might be in Dumfries, which is across some English land. You see guys, if you joined in, I might have let you have Ayrshire or something. Never mind. So we have two sieges going on that way. I'm just not paying attention to them because what this army does needs more supervision. At least the peasants aren't moving particularly fast. I guess they'll go to Cumbria next. Oh no, Lancashire. Well, that's good. Because we should have the advantage of a castle there. Right, our... Interesting. Our vassals have actually taken Valencia for us. Yeah, we can't help with that. Brilliant. Right, so... Ooh. because they're retreating to here. However, I'm going to have to go after the army, aren't I? Which is mildly annoying. It's one of the strategies that the computer does sometimes use is the wild goose chase. They try to lead your main army away so you can't do anything useful. It's not a bad strategy, really. When you can't possibly defeat your opponent. 
occupied my France, that's great. I want to send our army up here, our navy up here. So it's actually doing something vaguely useful. I'm going to start taking these lands. I don't think they have any castles though. So... Yeah, nothing much to stop us really. Bengal has announced us as a rival. I am just shaking in my boots. I don't actually think there was much left of Bengal after what we did to them last time. Right, they are apparently heading to Lancashire. Oh well, not in any big hurry, so I might just go and sort them out anyway. Probably shouldn't really. We should probably wait for them to come to Lancashire and land on the castle. Oh, hey, I'm impatient. Okay, right, well, we've got all of those levels now, so let's head over here. Right, by Spain, yep, inevitable. See, this is where the Ottomans might be useful, but at the same time, these are not our highest value lands. So if Spain is going to focus on them, that's an army we don't have to fight elsewhere. With apologies to all the people living down there. Okay, right, so the man, brilliant. So this is going to give us our final idea group. So if we look at where we are, we're furthest ahead in administrative. So although in some ways I'd like influence because that's good for... having um, subjects, vassals and so on. Humanist tends to be quite a good choice towards the end of the game. It just gives us way more religious unity and stops a lot of our issues with people rebelling, so it's probably going to be worth it just to cut down on the number of rebellions we have to deal with. So other than that, we're probably going to be trying to max out all of these. So we fill in the ideas, but we also try to max out our research. I think it goes up to 32 maximum. So it just gives you a higher score at the end. Effectively, right, we have dealt with the peasants. We do have enough men anyway, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, right, maybe given our vassals are taking everything over, well to start with, maybe we should put down this, these Spanish revolutionaries, because the last thing I want is another revolution. Hopefully we can get there before the castle falls, looks like we should be able to. So we won't have too many problems, because our general is much better and we do have marginally higher numbers. So yeah, other than that, I'm kind of thinking if Provence is going to handle all of this, maybe we should cross over and try and take some castles. That makes sense. See, Tunis has managed to survive ably. Ah, wonderful. Oh, not so wonderful. Right, okay, but hopefully you will run out of places to run. Okay, yeah, that's good. Just a general bonus. Also, I have to decide at what point we actually want to end the war. <laughs> Could possibly keep this going more or less forever, which we don't want to do. At the same time with being Spain, I'm kind of hoping we can take like a little bit from each of their areas. So it might be worth getting a fairly high war score. Use this general. 
Thankfully not the one we're currently using. Let's head over to Ulster. A new colony has been successfully made. That's great. Let's start off with one. That war. Hang on. All right. Let's head down there and see if we can get across. Did we catch them? Oh, we did. Brilliant. Okay, in that case, we will resume taking land. We have lost a naval battle. Oh, that was some trade ships. Hang on. Why did that happen? Okay, so we're going to upset our bourgeoisie again, aren't we? Can't be helped. That happened because they don't have go to port during war selected for some reason. I must have neglected that. Alright, let's go this way around because we're kind of making money from any English lands. I'm actually tempted to move anyway. Call the new colony. That's fine. Right. We don't really have time to think too much about our diplomacy right now. So let's just improve with some of our allies. I think Bohemia is still an ally. Ottomans, of course. Doing fine with all of them. Who else? Oh, this is good. We can probably vassalize them as soon as we get them. So receiving subsidies, if you can see that, that isn't up to 15 yet. It will be. And at any time we can gain another 25 by giving them a gift. So we won't be able to vassalize them while the war's on. But Hopefully, as soon as it's over, we can add another vassal. Which is always nice. Cool. Let's take the pail. Might try to make a separate piece of Great Britain. Okay. Got some peasants to put down there. Actually, this might be another reason to end the war early. Because of their chaos in their country. Maybe we should see what we could get from Great Britain now. Not enough. I need York as well. Okay. Just keep going then, I guess. Anyone else we could get to make peace, maybe? What about you? not actually interested in you, so how about you just pull out? There's the knights, but we're not really doing anything with the knights. Yeah. Cool, that's fine. We formed a personal union with Scotland. That is good. Apparently Scotland is now ours. Okay. Exciting. I hadn't been keeping an eye on this. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Bohemia King's only 15 years old, so that's not likely. But, uh, okay, well, that's good. I said I'd rather have a personal union than an alliance. And we're already improving relations with them, so that works out well. Excellent. Okay. We're headed back down here now to force these ships to put out to sea where our navy will absolutely demolish them. Keep go 
doing with the same thing. How are we doing up here? Oh, we have already put them down. Okay. I think we might be able to cross once. Gibraltar. We'll see. Ooh, hang on a minute. Man gone, is a rattle happening here? Oh, not a big one. Fair enough. Just making sure our vassals aren't going to be overwhelmed. What's the siege of Benin? That's fine. Don't care. Okay, looks like Terror Strel is actually helping. So. all over the place. Let's slow things down a little. Can we cross? We cannot. I was sure they had changed the rules so that we ought to be able to cross and less they control something. Hmm. Okay. Not too concerned about battles they're taking but it looks like our navy has been defeated. Can't be helped. We should move that ship. Different from Spain discovered. That's good. Surely England must be close to giving in by now. Probably just as long as they give us York as well, we can probably accept that. I don't actually want Dumfries. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I don't. Oh no, we've already got it. I see. I'm not saying I don't want it. I'm just saying <laughs> we need to get Northern England. I appreciate York is a very valuable province. see if anything changes once we've got all of Ireland. How are they doing? Well, they're getting there. It's we Zimbabwe, won't it? Yeah. Might end up a force to be reckoned with at this rate, taking all Brazilians' lands, Brazil's lands. Hopefully, if we don't take all of them, we should probably mop up the remainder. In fact, we should probably start building a spy network just in case. Because they're obviously extremely weak now. Not much left to worry about. Kind of starting to feel like we should be wrapping this up. I'm just a little concerned that we can't take York. I should check the actual terms of the thing that our nobles are asking for. As well, we head back to London. Obviously, we could also still take Man. The Isle of Man. Okay, lost a couple of claims. I don't really mind. Oh cool, are they able to use our ships? Nice. Okay. So what are we actually looking at here? All provinces in Northern England. Okay, so point out all the provinces in Northern England for me. Is York one of them? I don't think it is. 
That's the thing. Even though it clearly is a province in Northern England. <sighs> Did we have a thing about regions or something? I think there is a map that does things like that. Okay, York is part of Yorkshire. Right, I see. So Yorkshire is considered separate to Northern England. That is fascinating. This is what happens when... Uh, Paradox do a game in the place near where you live. Right, okay, so what have we got? Chester, Cumbria, Lancashire, Puerto Carino. Okay, we're getting a few colonies as well, so let's go with that. Completed the estate agenda. Because I was only really holding out because I didn't think the nobles would be happy if we were to take Yorkshire. I'm actually mildly uh, <laughs> irritated that Yorkshire gets its own region, whereas Lancashire does not. But fine, I suppose it is bigger. Okay, cool. Right, so you're back in London, where you should be. We need to get our main navy back. Where did I put it? Up here? Cool. Let's bring you back to London. Ooh, excellent. We have an actual fight. Right, let's not bother with people attaching. Okay, what have we got? 5% tax. Okay, we get more unrest. Or we can leave the nobles and priests out and get no extra unrest. I might go with that because we're not short of money. Who have they landed on Cape Coast? Oh, that's a little worrying. Oh no, Cape Coast is there, isn't it? That's fine. I was thinking about the Cape of Good Hope. Right, but we still can't get across. Fine, might wrap this up anyway. I think we may have done quite enough. So what can we get? Get Valencia and Natal, which we wanted. Seeding a bunch of other places. A lot of Pacifico Norte. So why won't they accept? Demanding Loango. Right, okay. So if I stop demanding Loango... to release it. Oh, good grief. Right. Right, I better pause. Uh, right. So that's the suggestion. But there's a release there. So release line. Right, that is the problem. That's what we don't like. So, fine. We won't have that. Let's accept that. It's fine. Still worried about French Louisiana. We really need to think about taking some lands for them because they are tiny. Oh no, they've got these. Oh, that's something. Okay, so we've given them something. Great. Yeah, that's fine. Just got those two little things, two provinces. Slavery has been abolished and now everyone is abolishing it, which is good. Okay, let's get you up there. Is there anywhere better? Slightly better. The navy as well, but we'll pull you out of Terostral. But that's made them a little bigger. So they should be a little more viable as an option, which is good. I'm 
I'm going to give you a nice big gift. Not that big, because we just need plus 190 to vassalize them. What else do we need to worry about? Well, there's all the exiled armies, obviously. So you should probably head back to Aragon. I don't know if there's anywhere better you could go now, but... Well, actually, Valencia is better. But at the same time, we've got a missionary there, so it might be worth keeping the army. But worth noting, we can now move them to Valencia, if need be. Great Britain's army was already in London, so that's fine. Okay, brilliant. So if we just finish this vassalization off, we should be good. Social contract. Excellent. Didn't really need the prestige right now. Appreciated nonetheless. So it might be worth us looking at this next time. Because we could join these lands up. Of course, there's still a Spanish possession we need to worry about. And once this war ends, we might want to try and take some land from Brazil. But other than that... Mostly good. There's a new vassal. Hopefully even more help than Terra Australia in wars down there. Oh well, there might be more help now that they're bigger. You never know. So, brilliant. Okay, so I guess that is it for today. War on Spain went pretty well. Dragged out a bit, but <laughs> went pretty well. Why did someone drag out? I was more that it had to spend 20 minutes putting down rebellions and things before we could even start. And uh, getting everyone into place. But definitely doing better. I think they're still a rival, actually. I'm surprised we haven't eclipsed them again. Yeah. Well, give it time. So we should have got a prestige boost from that, which is probably why prestige is so high. Although, also we put down the revolution, which would also boost prestige enormously. Hopefully our legitimacy will gradually recover. We do seem to struggle with that quite a bit. Uh, might actually switch to plus three now. Even though diplomatic reputation is better... I'm just conscious that it's an extra diplomatic power point every month. So it wouldn't be a bad thing. We can promote more cultures as well. So let's promote Catalan. Because that is 4%. And we have just taken a few extra Catalonian lands. So... Maybe we'll have less rebellions if we promote them. Okay, was there anything else? I think this navy was defeated. Maybe it wasn't. Certainly badly damaged if it wasn't. Let's move you down there. And I think that should be it for the cleanup. Should it all be done? Right, brilliant. So, yeah, fairly successful war. Probably going to try and take some lands from Brazil once Zimbabwe's finished with them, if they don't take everything. Other than that, we might want to have another think about heading east. But whether we want to take on the Commonwealth, or whether we want to just be um, cowardly about it and go for Milan and the Papal States, I'm not sure. In theory, we could get the Ottomans involved in fighting the Holy Roman Empire and the Commonwealth. So it might be worth doing just to try and break their power. Like, if we can manage to defeat them, we will become a little more powerful, even if it's actually Holland they're attacking or something, and they will become a little less. But we'll see. We'll leave that for next time. As it is, war on Spain went pretty well. Revolution in Great Britain crushed. So we have re-established monarchy as a form of government and kept our grip on power. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.